I decided to record my Lucid Intentions this week a little bit early because we've run into some philosophical differences with our crowdfund managers. And uh, I believe it speaks to a, a much bigger disconnect that's going on between the number crunchers and the creators uh, when it comes to, to professional art. I believe this disconnect between the creators and the number crunchers is the reason so many people are fed up with the movies that are being made today. As we prepare for our crowdfund campaign, uh, what has become evidently clear to me over the past week is what crowdfunding has become in the eyes of the professionals is a numbers game. It's, it's all about numbers crunching, it's all about stats, and the content is really secondary, if anything. This is the issue with the film industry. This is the issue with the, with the professionals in the industry that are deciding what gets made. It all comes down to formulas, not passion, not personality, not quality in, of the content, not the, the meaning behind it. It's not because somebody has a story to tell. It's because the numbers make sense. And that's where I'm having a real hard time trying to conform to the, the system and, and the establishment in that sense. Because for me, the numbers should come, they should come if you do something that means something. If you have a story to tell, if you have passion and you have real talent behind it, and you, you make something that has meaning and that shows up on screen, the, the numbers should take care of themselves. I mean, if you're not telling some story that really only appeals to you and your family, but, but is, is a story that, that has wide appeal, isn't that what isn't isn't that what makes storytelling so great? Isn't that what the draw was in the first place when we were sitting around campfires as cavemen? Isn't that how we got here and and people are making so much money off of stories is because of the passion and the per, the personalities and the talent and 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 the reasons behind those stories. But now it, it, it's all formulas. It's, it's, it's all numbers. Well, we've got this actor, we've got these plot points, and we've got these color schemes in the movie poster, so it's gonna make money. It, the, the stats say it's gonna make money, it's always made money, so it doesn't really matter who the director is, but if we've got a name on there, it's gonna make even more money. It doesn't really matter who the rest of the cast is or, or anyone else involved with the crew. Get mercenaries, get people that show up, take the check, know how to hold the light, and, and, and move on. It, it, it's, no offense, it's perfect union stuff. We, t we collect our check and we move on. We don't care about the movie that's being made. We don't care about the product that's on there. And, I, and there's a lot of people, I'm sure, that are, that are in every role in every department in this industry that do, but the people that are greenlighting this stuff from the bottom, uh, from the top down, there's, there's, no, there's no reason for these stories to be told other than the fact that the numbers make sense. And that's now becoming a crowdfunding issue and that's the core personality issue that we're running into this past week is that they're worried about the numbers. They want this warm circle. They, their stats show them that the only crowdfunding campaigns that succeed are in, in a, a, a big scale, not the little ones where, where you're really just drawing from your friends and family, but the, the major professional crowdfund campaigns that succeed that don't have, obviously, the Veronica Mars built-in brand name, the ones starting from, from the ground up that are, that are professional campaigns, they don't succeed unless they have 60% of the money going in. And why is that? Because they don't believe that people can buy into something from the beginning, from, from the very start of it, unless they see other people already have done so. It's all about the lemming mentality that they believe you, I, and the audiences have. That if, if the ingredients are in place, people will follow in line and they'll put money into it. And that's what the numbers say. And until the numbers say differently, that's all the numbers are going to ever say, and they're always going to be right. So we're battling right now because I believe that what we're trying to do, the story we're trying to tell, the charities that we want to help, the causes that we want to do this for, and, and the, the people and, and talents that are involved are all amazing people who you're gonna love seeing stories from for the rest of their careers. Whether it's 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 my stuff, I love I would love for all these people to work with me on everything I make. But it doesn't matter what movie Milton goes on to to, to, be, to be a director of photography for. It doesn't matter what other other content Frederick our, our composer does does scores for this stuff is all great and amazing these people are going to entertain you for the rest of their careers whether i'm involved or not the, but we're trying to do something that takes all this young fresh talent and puts it together in a way that creates something better for everybody a way that that 
gives back to the community that we're going to be asking to support our crowdfund campaign. Like we're going to be out there doing a campaign that also benefits the charity while we're doing it, but we're being told by our crowdfund managers, unless you, you fake the first 60% from your warm circle of all your friends and family that have donated first, so everybody believes that it's already successful before it is, it'll never be successful. So that's what, what, what entertainment has come down to in this day and age, is that unless you can manipulate the perception of success, it's not worth it. Because people don't believe in genuine, sincere success. They don't believe in a genuine, sincere message anymore. At least the people that are in control, the people that are crunching the numbers and the people that are putting the money up, that's what they're deciding this stuff on. They're not deciding it on a story that needs to be told. They're deciding it on, on what your reaction is going to be without you even knowing what that reaction is going to be. The numbers made sense, so this person will follow in line and they'll give their money to us. That's, that's, that's the only thing that's deciding the content, and that's why so many of you are disenfranchised with the, with the entertainment industry and the movies that are coming out. And until the numbers don't say that, they're going to be right. So... It doesn't have to be me, but it, but it has to be something that, that catches a moment and, and catches people's attention to stand up and say, say we want something different. We, we want the deciding factor to be based on something other than the numbers, the money. We want it to be decided on, does this story need to be told? Is there, is there a purpose behind it? And, and do the people in, in, involved care about it? And, and this, this, this comes all around to... to you know, the voting thing. You know, there's two parties. Stop voting for one party or the other if you want things to change. But no, everyone thinks it's a wasted vote to vote for somebody that's not one of those two parties. What is a wasted vote is voting for two parties that are basically the same thing. They're just giving you two repackaged options. But again, until we start all thinking together in a different mindset, these things won't change because the stats say the lemmings will follow suit. And that's what the people making the decisions are basing everything on is how can we lead people to follow where we want them to go? The numbers say this is how we do it. And you know what the numbers are based on? The numbers are based on what's already happened. So if you keep doing the same things over and over again, as or if we all keep doing the same things over and over again, it never changes. So. I don't know what's going to happen in the next week or so with our crowdfund guys. They're great. They're great guys. And I really hope that we do this with them and they're involved because they bring so much to the table. But, but at the end of the day, they got to see past the numbers. And, and, and people that work with Gratwick Films need to see past the numbers because I believe there's more people out there like me that cares about the content and cares about the people actually making the content and cares about the meaning behind it, not just the numbers making sense. And if I go crazy and homeless trying to find the other people like me, then that's that's what I'm gonna do. And the people that haven't accepted that around my circle yet are the people I have conflicts with. The other people, let's let's go make something special happen. And we need your help to do it. So I can either keep fighting against the numbers myself, or you can help start you can help me start making our own numbers. But until you share it and subscribe it, we have no numbers. The only numbers we have are the ones that are shown to us every single time that tell us why we can't do what we're doing. Because you don't care. You just go along with whatever they tell you to do. Well, are you ready for something different or not?